Hey guys, it's Belle from Disney and 3, here to talk to you about some great things for toddlers at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Um, a great thing about this park is they have fantastic stage shows. So there's one called Voyage of the Little Mermaid, and there's also one called Beauty and the Beast Live on Stage. And they're both really adorable, they're really cute songs, I mean, they're, they're a whole lot of fun, basically. They're colorful and bright, and it's totally Disney. And if you've seen the movies, then it's just, it's just a great show. So, perfectly friendly for little toddler ages, like one to three, and of course anyone older, like I enjoyed it, um, my parents enjoyed it, I'm sure your grandparents will enjoy it. So definitely check those out, just make sure that when you first get into the park, you get a times show guide, because it tells you exactly when all the shows are showing, because they don't play like all day long, they have like certain times. Um, there's always a show about about one o'clock, and there's always a show at about 4.30, you can kind of plan your day around that. And make sure you get there a little early, like a half an hour early, so you get good seats to see these shows. So um, that's something to think about. Um, get You can rent strollers here at the front of the park. $10 a day is a great investment because then you don't have to lug your stroller from the hotel or from the buses and into the parks. Just make sure you have something to differentiate your stroller from the sea of identical strollers all around you. <laughs> You can like wrap a bandana around the little handle or a scarf or make a sign that has your family name on it or something just so you can tell you're not like rolling away someone else's kid. So um, <laughs> that's just something to think about. A great thing that they added recently was it's called Disney Junior Live on Stage. It's really cool because kids watch Disney Junior in the mornings. I know my little sister did when she was three or four. And now they can see their characters live on stage at Disney World. You can see like Handy Manny, they have the little Einsteins, um, Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Um, that's a new one they have. And yeah, it's like a great show. It's a lot of fun. They have like little activities for the kids and you sing and you dance and they clap and you, everything from the show but in real life. And it's cool because after the show, sometimes you can meet the characters in the back of the place. They have like little trailers or something. And they'll sign your autographs and they'll take pictures with you. I mean, it's just, it's really cute. So if your kids enjoy Disney Junior, they're definitely going to love that. Um, this place has really kid-friendly restaurants for picky eaters. Um, Sci-Fi Dine and Theater is really cool. If you, if you haven't seen it, it's like you are in a drive-in theater at night. And they show these clips of like goofy horror films from the 50s. And they have great food and little kids love it because it's like burgers and pizza and like milkshakes really great milkshakes so check that one out if you're in the mood for like a sit-down dinner a more casual place to eat that's great for kids though is called pizza planet um it's also half half of it's a restaurant half of it's an arcade so you might have to shell out a little bit of money for your kids to play some games but it'll give you a break you know the food kids love it i mean it's all pizza it's good pizza too and you get your drinks and it's completely air conditioned so just take a break there and kind of like rest a little bit let your kids run around and play um another great place for kids to like let off a little bit of steam if they've been sitting in shows or you know they're a little bit antsy it's called it's in the back of the park it's called disney no it's called honey i shrunk the kids playset and it's cool because it's just like that scene if you've ever seen it from honey i shrunk the kids where they're in the backyard and they're trying to get back to the house and they're like running from the lawnmower um, they have like these enormous blades of grass and they have like this gigantic play-doh you know little like tub bucket thing and kids can climb all over them they have like giant mushrooms and giant ants and it's really cute like it's really cool it's covered completely so it's a little cooler than just walking around in the sun and you can sit there and watch your kids play for a little bit you know <laughs> take a break if your little one wants to run around um, they sell cokes and like souvenirs and stuff right next door so that's definitely a great place to hang out. Um, Fantasmic is the nightly show that they have at Disney's MGM Studios. It can be really cool, but it can also be a little bit scary for kids that are like toddler ages. Um, if your kid's pretty brave, which, which is good, then they will definitely enjoy it. There's like this dragon, and it's like spitting fire, and they show like clips from Disney films, and you see the princes and the princesses, and they dance on these boats, and it's really cool because it's like this water extravaganza fireworks show. But it can also be a little scary for kids if, you know, if your little one gets a little antsy at loud noises or anything. I mean, there's no shame in that. But there's always a few kids that just, they lose it, and they get scared, and they start crying. So if you're afraid that might be your kid, then it's fine, just skip it, it's no big deal. I mean, it's a cool show, but 
uh, you don't want your Disney dream vacation to turn into a nightmare for your little one. So if you're going to skip the show, then that's probably a good time to leave is while the show is going on. You get to skip the crowds, you can get on the buses or get to your car easier. There's no like huge mob mass of people <laughs> like trying to get out of the park. Um, so just something to think about. Um, this was Belle from Disney and 3 and I will see you guys next time.